hunting about an airline, as you can see, immobilizer lights out. I had to replace this transponder because oh. I was, whoa, <laughs> now the wipers on. Uh, this is the transponder for that transponder on that key. Got to put all that back together. And obviously screw all that up, put all this cowling and all that back round it. As you can see, it's all broken here. Uh, someone was in before me. Basically, just to take that out, it's pretty simple. Turn the key on, pop that in the hole, push bash bosh. I'm not going to show you how to do that, you can learn how to do that yourself. Um, if you want to know how to do it, ask me and I will tell you. Um, but as you can see, No mobilizer faults. The mobilizer lights out. Uh, I keep unlocking one side of the car and not the other. There we go, car's unlocked now. Uh, I really need to put diesel on this car too. I'm gonna put diesel on this car and sort it all out. Although the clocks read 143,000 miles, the clocks aren't, haven't actually done 143,000 miles. I believe it is possible for me to change that too, using Vag uh, Commander. Uh, I'm not going to bother with that at the moment. My object was to get it running with the. Uh, without the fuses at all in there. Uh, my object was to get it running without the... The windows are working. So... The object of my game was to get it running without the immobilizer. It's now running without the immobilizer. I'll have to screw all this back in. I'll cut back to you once I've screwed it all back together, okay? Right. Well, basically, it's all bought together. Yeah, it does need fuel. Mm. I believe there is a way of changing the clocks in it. Um, been absolutely Baltic here last night, and it does need fuel. I know that. Uh, I got all that stuff down there to sort, but I probably won't do that today. That'll be the next job. Uh, I've got a boy coming on Friday for tires on it, um, but at least I'm happy now. I've got no mobilizer light. Uh, even if it was a bit of a faff to get there, but I got there. Uh, so I'll sort bloody seat belts out and all that stuff. I need to glue this back in. Let's put a trim up here. Uh, I think it's damp, it's taking that down to be fair. Uh, orange light, pad warning light, it's had new pads. Um, the car's never got warm. Oh, dampness that's inside it. Uh, I really do need to sort that out. Uh, I keep uh, sorting it out so far and then Come back to it, defrosting it. Uh, the ECU is contained, and there's no water in the ECU, so the ECU is contained. There's no water in it. The main AC, ECU for the control, the comfort control, and the BCI body control unit. BCI. Blah, 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 blah. BCU, BCI, it's the same thing. Uh, that's a CCM. Don't be confused with the BCI. You get Land Rovers, Rovers, all sorts of vehicles. But it's not too bad in the headlining either for an old car. Uh, it's just unfortunate. We can't find out why that that one works. Uh, 
maybe just a bulb, I don't know. Stranger, that one lights, that one doesn't. Strange, strange but true. Anyway, gonna put some tools away and buckle up some things, sort out things. Uh, as I say, I've got probably that to do, but as you can see, all the all this is back together now, and I probably will change the mileage at a later date. But it's not something that worries me right now, to be fair, 145 is still no mileage. Uh, I actually know it's only 109,000 that's on this thing anyway. So, thanks very much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one.